Welcome. I'm Ann Schreffler, a professor of music at Harvard University and co-curator with Miranda Cookson of the 2021 From Players at Harvard. I'm pleased to welcome our featured performer, violinist Miranda Cookson, and composer Jeffrey Mumford, whose work Fleeting Cycles of Layered Air for Solo Violin will receive its world premiere at this concert. The annual concerts at Harvard are made possible because of the vision of Paul Fromm, who established his foundation in 1952 to support contemporary music. The Fromm Music Foundation, since 1972 under the auspices of Harvard University, continues Paul Fromm's legacy by commissioning new works and supporting concerts, events, and music festivals across the United States, including these annual concerts at Harvard. This year's concert is being streamed online on April 16th, 2021, and can be found on the YouTube channel of the Harvard University Department of Music. Miranda Cookson's virtuosity and expressiveness have been celebrated by critics around the world. Her repertoire ranges from J.S. Bach to yesterday. She's a path-breaking interpreter of the newest music, as well as of 20th century masterpieces by composers, including Luigi Nono, Elliot Carter, and Brian Fernihal. Miranda Cookson has been described as a fearless visionary and the ideal emissary for contemporary music. Jeffrey Mumford's compositions have been commissioned by leading orchestras, ensembles, and soloists across the country and abroad, including the Los Angeles Philharmonic Association, the Library of Congress, the BBC Philharmonic, the San Antonio, Chicago, and National Symphonies, and the Fromm Music Foundation, as, many, as well as many others. The New York Times praised his work as rigorous yet as changeable as cloudscapes, bursting with color, nuance, and poetry. Welcome, Jeffrey and Miranda. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So, Jeffrey, could you tell us something about the significance of the title? Well, my music tends to be very influenced and inspired by nature and light and qualities of light and intensities. Um, so if you look at my catalog, you'll, you'll notice a lot of pieces that deal with uh, ra radiance, things that are glowing, things that are glimmering, things that are fleeting uh, moments. Um, so this piece for me, I wanted to have a sense of a kind of suspended reality. There's a lot of very high um, figurative writing um, and contrasted to some sul palincello close to the you know, fingerboard writing, creating different sonorities, creating, trying to create um, a, a kind of a alternative reality, a world where there coexists many different kinds of experience of certain materials that come back as the course of the piece evolves. The opening material comes back in different forms and in different contexts as the piece continues and develops. Knowing Miranda's playing was always in my ear, so I had a sense of what I wanted to hear from her and how I knew she, how well she was going to do it. So the piece evolved accordingly. The sense of the idea of flying. In, 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 in African American culture, there's a this, this notion of flight, this notion of, of, of escape, creating an alternative heaven, an alternative reality. And I've addressed that in a number of my works, but most recently, obviously, since the events of last summer, that there needs to be a better place than the place that we're living now. And this piece, I think, I hope, evokes a sense of a place where you can go where you're safe, yet you are in motion and you're discovering and evolving. I've been listening to a lot of Sun Ra lately and the idea of flight and, 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 and movement. He takes to the next, the ultimate level of space 
being <laughs> the ultimate place of escape. And and so Mars. Or Venus, the less the most yeah. this this piece that my wife bought me, a CD called Swirling, one of the pieces is um flight number nine to the planet Venus. Flight number nine to the planet Venus. I play that piece a lot. It just I love it. It's very monk derived, the Thelonious the monk, but it's also you know you can tell it's clearly Sun Ra. The idea, though, of 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 a of a, of, of a flight station where where rocket ships are regularly taking off to Venus to escape to you know to explore a new world. Well, Jeffrey, do you want to talk a bit about um, the important figures to you compositionally? I know Elliot Carter was one, maybe Bernard Rands, and yeah, your your relation to African American. Music and you, you're mentioning some of these with Sun Ra and also about some African American sort of themes. I have many sources of inspiration. Um, I I love the music of Brahms, for instance. If I had to choose a favorite composer, believe it or not, it would be Brahms, because he, he's so generous in his music. Yet there are no wasted notes. There's a sense of this ex extreme expressivity, and an autumnal nature quality in his work that I find very, very, very soothing, as well as Schumann. Um, more recent composers, um, certainly Carter, um, Bernard Rands, Ollie Wilson has one of the most gorgeous piano trios I've ever heard in my life. And I, I think of that piece quite often. George Walker, um, Muhal Richard Abrams, these are composers who I find very inspiring. One of the things I really like about Carter's music and uh, and your music, to the extent I know I know less of it, but is the sense of motion in different layers, right? So it's different kinds of motion. It's not a unitary motion. It's not everybody marching together, and that you were just describing this kind of freedom where individuals are going, you know, following their own visions and their own ideas. Um, and maybe music can be a kind of metaphor for that. One of the analogies I often use is that of, of a thunderstorm. When I was in high school, I would spend hours just staring out the window, and in Washington, D.C., there were very dramatic thunderstorms. Where the sky would turn green and purple, and I'd just watch how the clouds would unfold and move across the sky and, and, and envision myself living up in those clouds and seeing how foreground and background played off each other, and the idea of things splitting off and recombining. So the analogy I often use in my work is the idea that there are materials that split off, recombine, um, recontextualize themselves. Like I said in the beginning of, the, of Miranda's piece, this opening motive comes back, but in a, different, in a different context, so it's heard differently as an ongoing entity. This motive unfolds and reveals itself and then goes away and reveals itself again, but constantly in different contexts. So the ear processes it differently. I mean, it is, you know, it, it is an interaction. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a language. And as, as human beings, we interact with each other in, in different ways. And so musical ways of expressing that musically um, there's a great deal of fun trying to create different worlds, different relationships within musical materials. I just think this really, really effective thing with the piece is this sense of um, uh, distance. He uses the Italian word lontano, but um, this sense of being far off and kind of misty and then suddenly being very present. And so this is almost like this kind of telescoping effect. So you, you really do have a sense of a kind of a landscape and things moving within this, this uh, landscape. As he says, he kind of takes you into this other world, whatever this, this new landscape is. But that, that's something, um, yeah, just to be aware of and experience in the piece. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miranda Cookson and Jeffrey Mumford, 
for being with me here today. And thanks to all of our listeners joining us online. You can listen to Jeffrey Mumford's Fleeting Cycles of Layered Air, along with works by Rebecca Saunders, Don Gruel Lee, and Natasha Barrett, streamed on April 16, 2021. Violinist Miranda Cookson will be joined by pianist Connor Hennick. The program of the 2021 From Players at Harvard will be available after that on the YouTube channel of the Harvard University Department of Music. I hope you can join us. Thank you.